in my continuing attempt to establish some kind of a regular schedule on this channel, I have returned pretty quickly, I must say. Uh, this time, clearly, as you can see from the background, I'm going to be talking some Batman. Uh, mainly toys, because apparently that's what I'm doing now, is toy reviews. Uh, I will mix it up eventually, that's not what I want to do the whole time. But, uh, you know, that's what I'm doing now. So, if you like it, cool, if you don't. You know, just wait. Or suck it. I don't know. One of the two. Uh, but today, we're talking bats, obviously. You can see my uh, old-ass uh, poster that I got from uh, some lady called Lena. Which no one will know, but shout out to Lena, I guess. Um, super old. Uh, I wasn't going to dust it just so I could continue the trend of a uh, hashtag grotesque background. But it was a little too grotesque, so I did have to dust it a little. But it doesn't matter because that's not what you're here for. You're here for these uh, quick rundown and review, I guess, of uh, these McFarlane Toys White Knight figures. These are the newest in the uh, McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. And I'll be honest, I was sold on this Batman because he looks cool. Uh, I was not going to get this Joker. I was actually going to skip him hardcore. But I saw him at Walmart and I ended up getting him. And I do end up, ended up liking him, so... You know, I was wrong there, I guess. And, uh, of course... The one that is uh, currently being scalped and hard to find. And my dogs are scratching on the door, so that's cool. Uh, Azrael. So now let's run through these uh, individually. We got, uh, we got bats. So I figure if I'm going to try to be doing this a little more seriously, i got to actually run down the figure piece by piece, not just tell you to do it yourself. So uh, let's do that. We got uh, we got Bats here from his appearance in White Knight. Uh, which if you want to know my thoughts on White Knight, it was okay. It wasn't a great book. Um, I know I got a lot of praise. I think it's, it's all right. It thinks it's smarter than it is but it is a fun it is a fun book and batman is really cool in it you know he's a lot more he's kind of painted as the villain even though he's clearly not the whole time uh and the art's really cool so this is what we're getting this kind of bizarre design you know he's got freaking thigh high boots this really fat batman symbol uh a really cool cape i really like the cape you know it's cool so uh yeah let's hit this uh Batman has a little little ankle, little ankle ball joint. You know, not a lot of a side swivel action, but uh, if you twist it, you can get <laughs> you can get some good foot poses. You know, uh, you got a little toe joint right here. You got a uh, double knee joint. You got a uh, little leg. I don't know what that's called. Some kind of a joint. It pops. Same on the other leg, obviously. You got an ab crunch. Uh, which I gotta say, double ab crunch, or uh, waist and ab crunch. I gotta say, McFarlane's really stepping up their ab crunch game. Those early ones were kind of shitty. We got uh, a joint on the side, which is uh, back here. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a ball joint right here. So it can go outwards and in. We got, of course, a shoulder joint, an arm swivel. Uh, freaking elbow, single, single joint, but it's pretty good. You get pretty good, uh, you know, flexibility from it. A uh, little ball joint at the freaking wrist, same on the other leg, or same on the other arm, obviously. You can look up that high, you can look down that low. And there you go. He also came with a freaking bat rope, which you can put on his belt. And like a grapple piece, which if you put on his hand, it's just super floppy, so it's kind of useless. But overall, I gotta say, it was a pretty cool figure. Um, it's actually one of my favorite ones, weirdly, from a book that I didn't particularly love. Uh, again, didn't hate, but didn't love. Uh, he ended up being possibly my, one of my favorite uh, McFarlane toys, Batman, so far. And since he is quite posable, you can come up with some cool ass poses. Which uh, maybe I'll do an insert. Probably not though. Probably not. Yeah, 
Anyway, next. Next up, we got Joker. Again, from the White Knight book series. Uh, it's just like... This is his appearance in like, like towards the end. I think it's like the eighth or the final issue. I don't remember exactly what issue. But it's towards the end. When he's kind of going in and out of being evil. Um, and, you know, he's got very specific... This is very specific to one issue. Which, I was telling Ahab, is actually a good choice, this one. Because... The Joker actually looks kind of horrible um, when he's the Joker in that book. Um, just the, the outfit is atrocious. Uh, he looks cool when he's his human uh, self, but you know, the actual Joker is boom, stinky. So this was a good choice to pick this one. Um, and again, I wasn't going to pick it up, but I saw it at Walmart and he looks pretty cool. You know, I like this pose that I got him in. He, of course, comes with the, uh, the Jack Napier head, which actually does have some pretty good detailing. Ah, oh, god damn it! Damn, uh. baby! Well, anyway, I dropped the freaking head, but it does have some good de detailing in that it gave him his half, uh, different colored eyes. That's pretty cool. So does the, uh, Joker head. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, he also came with this long-ass gun, which I don't remember him using, but he might have, honestly. I just... Wrote that book out of my mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's good. You know, it just wasn't great. Um, but it's cool, you know. I was going to pop the head off and, get, and show it to you, but uh, I dropped it. So that's good. Last, but uh, definitely not least, actually my favorite figure in the series is Azrael from A Curse of the White Knight. Which, yeah, by the way, Ahab pointed this out. That's a not a good name for a book. The White Knight, I mean. Anyway, this is actually a really great figure. It's just as posable as the Batman. I know I didn't go through the posability of the Joker, but it's literally the exact same freaking uh, points of articulation. So, Except the ab crunch is a little hard to get to because he has this rubber um, bulletproof vest. So you got everything that Batman has articulation-wise. Um... Except maybe his head is a little hard to move up and down because he's got this hood. But look, look at it, dude. He's sexy as shit. Look at that shit. Oh, I am a bad mite. I've said on camera that I would totally stroke off Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, this is not. So he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't get the stroke from me. But he's a good figure. I don't know why I had to mention that. Hella gay. But, uh, you know. Anyway, he comes with this flame sword. Which you can remove the flames from. You can remove the flames from. He's got these cool little like back fins. Which are like this rubbery. Super light rubber. In my room I have a fan. That just happens to hit this when it's up on the shelf. It looks kind of cool. Waving. Uh, this is possible. This is definitely the bulkiest figure in the lot. Uh, but he's got a lot of detail. A lot of cool ass look. One complaint though. These little boots, man. These little boots ain't cool, dude. Stanky ass ass will be wearing Ugg boots. Sucky ass boots. It does kind of uh, break the cool package, you know, as a whole. Because I'm like, damn, that's a cool ass figure. And then he gets the stanky boots, and I'm like, oh man, those little boots, though. <sighs> but that's not really, you know, McFarlane's fault. I say, like, he sculpts every freaking figure. Uh, it's actually, you know, just, it's the freaking design, dude. He's got to work yet, but the boots! Damn, homie! But anyway, this is actually the hardest one to stand, because he's so top-heavy, you know? But they do come with those shitty-ass McFarlane stands, which, I mean, come on, homie. You gotta freaking come up with a better stand system. Uh, they seem to get very loose after, like, the second time you peg one on and uh you know just come out of the feet which sucks but anyway here's the freaking three boys right here batman guy's little foot point this is a really cool wave man i like it uh i'm kind of you know i'm digging these bat figures i am a bat fan this is my ba my main collectible uh that i collect but uh at the same time i'm kind of freaking hoping that they mix it up a little and bring in some other characters, you know. Freaking, it's been about pure Batman basically on the on the multiverse line. It's time we get coming, bringing some new characters. 
Or at least bring in some cool ass bat figures like an Affleck. Freaking Batman uh, Dark Knight Returns. Maybe a little Nolan trilogy bat. You know, something. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty happy with these. Looking forward to those Dark Knight figures. Though I hear they're Walmart exclusives. So that's gonna suck ass heads. Hopefully they change their freaking mind or hopefully they come to other retailers at some point because I do not want to pre-order from Walmart. But, uh, you know, if it comes to it, I will. For now, these are the freaking uh, White Knight figures. A little zoom in on all three of them. As you can see, they stand just fine with the stands. Like I said, Azrael does have some trouble standing, but once you get him in the position, He'll be fine. Filming this afterwards, uh, so if you hear a fan in the back, that's because this room is horrifyingly hot. And I have to cool off. Um, I did notice when I was trying to pose these for some pictures that Azrael's, uh, you know, articulation, though similar to Batman, is a little hindered by his little diaper, his little cloth diaper. Uh, and he also, one of mine, had uh, some really loose, like, ratchet joint right here. Ratchet joint, super loose. Uh, he's a little harder to get into cool poses, honestly, because of how bulky he is, you know. This thing kind of stops his his arm from going back a lot. Uh, but, it's, you know, he's still great looking and he's still possibly my favorite. It's just, you know, might as well mention it, right? Because I know some people out there are articulation fiends. Um, but I figure for freaking 20 bucks, it ain't bad. I also managed to put on... I also managed to put on the Joker's head. Uh, which he looks a little bit like Willem Dafoe. Uh, he also looks a little bit like uh, freaking uh, Rick Taz from those horrible TikToks. Man, you corny! So that's pretty cool if you wanted your Rick Taz fig. Here he is. Now we just need Faraz. I really do love this Batman though, I gotta say, uh, you know, his joints are all very tight, my, like my b-hole is, until I see uh, Ben Affleck, and then it gets insanely loose, uh, you know, these are cool man, I'm gonna give them, I forgot to rate them, so I'm gonna give this Batman like a straight 10, <sighs> I'm gonna give this Azrael a straight 10, and this Joker, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you homie, I'm gonna give him like a... I'm gonna give him like a 6.5. Like, this is still not my favorite Joker design. I do like this Joker head. This one's good. But even then, you know, this is definitely not one of my fa favorites in this line. Uh, I had to get it just to collect three. And uh, I actually do like how it looks. It's just definitely not one of my faves. My freaking dog is biting shit already. So that's good. Oh, also, just so I could throw one last one in there. A hashtag grotesque background. Here, I got a worse one here. Grotesque background. As you can see, I've been painting some freaking bat capes. So that's hella loser. Oh, also, I tried to put this thing on Batman to pose him with it. But as I said, it's hella floppy and it just looks hella corn. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can make this look cool. I don't know how you would stiffen it up. Because I'm not an expert at stiffening things, if you know what I mean. My penis don't work. So, <laughs> but, uh, you know, someone out there could. I can't. With my shitty Batman in the back. I try not to move as much this time. Though I have a shitty ass uh, 5 below tripod. And my phone's uh, stabilization methods are from the Ice Age. So, so it's still probably pretty damn shaky. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you like this uh, video. If you like this slightly more... Um, I don't want to say serious. Because this definitely wasn't serious. But slightly less... Uh, dismissive style I guess let me know if you want me to go back to being a complete shithead in these vids can do also my dogs are scratching on the door so that's freaking good anyway it's a video and uh, you know check out $10 Slimer check out my other reviews bye suck on my fucking testes <laughs> Yeah,